-hmm. talk about education, uh, that is, of course, the most important thing when it comes to HBCUs, not the bands, not pledging, not anything else. And so we've teamed up with AT&T for a series of stories about uh, HBCU professors called, called Dream in Black. Today, uh, we visit Morgan State University uh, in Baltimore, where the whole issue is about technology. Carnegie. Yes, sir. How's it going? Great. What do you do? I'm a hardware hacker, so we uh, really a tinkerer. I uh, tinker with things, most likely. More often, uh, electronic devices and to expose, figure out how they work and um, what their weaknesses are. How, how, how did you dream big? How, how did you? How did you think about the possibilities of what you can what you can do with that? and turn into a career? What were you thinking about that uh, at an early age? I used to have crazy dreams back then, and I never understood what they were until um, much later, I mean, until I got to college, maybe. Um, but I always would dream about numbers <laughs> and binary numbers, uh, number sequences. So I would always dream. So and that's probably what prompted me to to start out as a math major. So I started out as a math major um, in college. And then um, my sophomore year, my math professor pulled me aside and said, well, what are you gonna do for the summer? And I said, well, I don't know. So she said, well, here's two opportunities. And so she said, oh, you can go to Prudential. The, the other option was to go to Bell Laboratories and um, to do some engineering stuff. Cool. I've never done that. What is engineering? So, so it was officially called engineering, but for you growing up, it was called tinkering. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And so, and so you, uh, so you go to Bell, Bell Laboratory. Yes, I did. I went to AT and T Bell Laboratories. What was it about it that that, that sort of just blew you away? That that that, that caused you to say, "Oh man, I, th 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 there are no limits here. That I could just this thing could go anywhere." It was a number of things. It was the the place, the energy of the place, uh, the, 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 the innovation. This is a place where pre creativity, ideas come to life. And um, they created this environment, and you, they had the tremendous resources, and you had all these brilliant people, especially people that looked like me, who were engineers. Upon graduation, I moved back east, went to work for. Uh, IBM, T.J. Watson Research Center. I was one of the 3,000. I was the f only four African-American um, research staff members. Talk about why it's important for us to encourage, not just young folks, but just encourage people to dream big. If you don't dream, you will never fulfill your destiny, but you have to see yourself and you have to project it, and, uh, you have to speak it into existence. But first, it starts with the visual, visualization. Mm -hmm. Is it important for you and what you're doing to get students to understand that they have to think bigger, broader, not in, 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 in once exposed that they may have thought they're future as an HBCU student was this and really what you're seeing is no it's oh yes well it's it's you can actually box it the next Mark Zuckerberg is going to come from Morgan State University from this lab this is someone who's going to think big and have some sort of lead uh, 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 come up with uh, this innovation that will lead to the next um, social media um, craze. So I think um, 
and always encouraging them to think big and, and to go beyond. And I give them a lot of latitude, but I expose them to the different aspects mm -hmm. of our, our business, the academic, they do internships so that they, you know, they're pulling their own red wagon, but um, ultimately I, I do have some that have that entrepreneurial spirit. So I encourage them. I put them in opportunities where they can flourish and grow and then introduce them to the right kind of people because we, we need that. All right, folks, for more information, go to att.com forward slash dream in black. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RollerMartinUnfiltered.com.